recording is starting. <laughs> Music starting in one, two, three. Hello. 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 Welcome to the Toast Society podcast. I am Joe Pesci. I'm I am Joe also Pesci Joe Pesci. Today. I've changed. No, that, that, that's not how it works. I'm having Joe an Pesci. identity crisis. <laughs> oh, I see. I don't Joe want to be Pesci Joe Pesci himself. anymore. I'm changing you have my to, name. You have to be Joe Pesci. No. Can you I not are be Joe Pesci? Pesci. I want to be Jeremy. Change we are all name. Joe Pesci. No! You cannot. You may not betray the Pesci. What the fuck? I'd rather be anybody but Joe Pesci. I've lived too long. Anyway, welcome to the Toaster Society podcast. Um, I'm Sam. He's Clom, whining, and there's also Maddie. Uh, Internet Explorer's dead. Um, it is. We are. We are a weak plate. And we are but watching that. Which, once again, is appropriate for Internet Explorer. Uh, rest, rest in peace, Internet Explorer. How long was Internet Explorer going for? Twenty-seven uh, years. Jesus. My. The fuck. Twenty-seven years. That's almost as long as Joe Pesci. Hmm. <laughs> No, that's about half as long as Joe Pesci. Lengthwise, it's not. That must mean like that Internet time. Explorer is Joe Pesci's son. No. No, that's not how that works. It's just, just not. So as we've determined, Callum is Joe Pesci, but also Joe Pesci's dad. So I Callum. <laughs> so Callum mated I'm with an ego. Joe Pesci. I am. Um... And made Internet Explorer. And Joe Pesci is Callum, so Callum made it. It's like the Holy Trinity. Self-sus. Way. <laughs> and again, as we determined last week, you are an ego. So. Yeah. There's very little that's canon on these things. We're not canonizing no, we, the ego. This is all we are not canon. canonizing <laughs> ego clump. Anyway. For every canon, it's in an episode. That would also that mean that I canon. am Microsoft because Microsoft made Internet Explorer. <laughs> We've we have covered um we have covered Internet Explorer. Now I want to just do a mini challenge as a sort of jumping off point for the episode. That um, worries me. So um. As well as, uh, both of you also have a micro-challenge that goes throughout the entire video, where you have to try and say a bunch of a certain thing, um, for the entire thing without the other noticing. So, both of you are clear on what it is, and do not say it out loud so the other cannot hear it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good, okay. So, the first up, um, you have to try and guess what country the origin of this particular pizza topping comes from. Why? Why? I'm Why? I'm you scraping the bottom of the barrel here. You're struggling for ideas because the last episode was for the finale of this season. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is, In the bottom this is the, the last, like, proper episode. Uh, so, first off, pickled ginger, minced mutton, paneer, a uh, form of cottage cheese and tofu. Ew. Um, I, what country I want do you think to has say that Wales. That sounds Corn. fucking horrid to go on a pizza. I'm what saying Wales. Ginger, minced mutton, paneer, and tofu. Yeah, sounds a bit Wales to me. Most of them are mutton. Maddie's, Maddie's saying Welsh. Uh, Callum? Uh, Irish? I'm not fucking. Wow. Well. I think it's from town. Yeah. Both of you have just gone with UK countries. Uh, Ireland both of you are... a UK country. The north of it is. You, yeah, you're both said quite Ireland out. Northern Ireland. I mean, it used to be one. India. Ah, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, next. Um, Mokba, a combination of tuna, sardines, salmon, and mackerel. Um, onion and onions. Onions so on pizza seem pretty normal. Yeah, as well as, like, all nice. of the fish. Now, fish, I will not stand for on pizza. That Absolutely is... Absolutely not. It's too far. 
So what country do you think takes it too far with its fish? Switzerland. Why? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know countries to be fair. Um... The, I'm going to say the first country that comes to mind, Ethiopia. Uh, <laughs> we are not doing another e-girl riff. Do the e-girl riff. <laughs> Sounds like an e-girl just fucking scratching on a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, both of you are wrong again, Russia. Alright, uh... Oh, fucking yeah. Russia. Three third back. Yeah, it's just because it didn't have enough Smirnoff in it. Um, green peas, um, corn, raisins, hearts of palm, and oh. hard-boiled eggs. That's fucking livid! That is the worst what, thing. We should, like, okay, can, okay, can we read, we re read that entire thing because I just got zoned out. Green peas... <laughs> Corn, raisins, ah. hearts of palm, and hard-boiled eggs. Absolutely. Those are all horrid. What? Why is this pretty green peas? Is there any other colour of pea? Um, I don't know. Um, you're free to look that up in editing. Um, make your guesses. I, I, I made a joke about a hell for the first one, but no, that is hell. That is hell. I think they just get worse from here. Um, How did it get worse than that? Are you from Uh, one guy down here puts bananas and pineapple, as well as curry powder on it, so... Pineapple is fucking brilliant on pizza, I don't know what you say. In tandem with bananas and curry powder, though. No, that's horrid. I will right, admit so... that, but... Anyway, who owns the green pea pizza? Fucking Satan. Yeah, it does seem a bit Icelandic, actually. Both of you Iceland? This is like GeoGuessr, but pizza. Um, <laughs> I like uh, to imagine that you're getting this off of Reddit. Um, sort of. It's definitely American, because all the words are wrong. Um, see. Um, no, it's actually Brazil. Oh, it's fucking Brazil. Just fuck it, why not? Brazil done good for us. Okay. Eel, squid, mayo, jaga, a mix of, pota of mayonnaise, sorry, potato, and bacon. Uh, I'm saying Japan immediately. Okay. What about Cal? Ah, fuck no, they're all fucked. Just give us a country. Tell, tell me it again. Eel, squid, and mayo jaga, a mix of mayonnaise, potato, and bacon, Korea. as well as teriyaki chicken. Korea. Maddie was right on the money with Japan. Ah. I got it from the eel and like fucking <laughs> like just fucking stupid seafood. Um. So in this next country, it's called tart flambe with bacon. Onion, fresh cream, uh, uh, on a thin layer of dough. That's not fucking pizza, that's the fucking dessert. It's a horrid dessert, but still, it's not bad the pizza. It's interesting how other countries just ruin such a good food. Uh, so, any guesses? No, no. No. I don't want to play this game anymore, Sam. Yeah. It's France. Alright then, I'll just Pocket skip half. fucking France. Germany just likes tuna. Uh, Alright, let's oh. just quickly do this one. Peanuts, chicken, bananas, pineapple, and curried powder. Fucking Texas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking fucking Texas. Don't care. Sweden. Lovely. Fucking Sweden. Uh, I'll do a fairly normal one. Ham, bacon, and egg. Egg? Well, other than the egg, that's fairly normal. Yeah, who the fuck puts egg on pizza? What, Romans? Turns out the Australians. 
Um, oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's <laughs> Australia. Uh, coconut and shrimp, as well as pineapple. That's uh, some kind of tropical fucking place. Costa Rica. Um, That's tropical. Shawarma uh, is a popular what, uh, pizza topping in the Netherlands. Um, what even is shawarma? Grilled know, lamb. Grilled lamb. Um, according to this. Um, Greek pizzas include cheese, oregano, olives, fresh okay. tomato, onions, green pepper, and pepperoni. So that sounds like a that nice... Sounds, that sounds actually quite nice, to be fair. That, yeah, yeah the, know, go to Greece, Greece for pizza. No, no um, go to Italy for pizza. Well, but yeah. If you can't go to Italy, Greece is a good second option, I guess. I mean, they're basically the same thing, aren't they? Um, That's mildly racist. Oh. Uh, Portugal enjoys garlicky local sausages and chorizo. Uh, and can you guess what the United States likes? Ooh, Oil. Hot dogs, hamburgers. Yeah, on pizza. Um, I'm going to this. Pepperoni, sausage, mushrooms, onion, green pepper, and extra cheese. Fucking... <laughs> cheese. An artery-clogging amount of cheese. Yeah. Yep. So that was the pizza section. Uh, wow. and next... And next is the major jumping-off point. It's something that my father wanted me to ask on this podcast. That despite terrifies that- me. Despite how stupid of a question this is, how many kazoos would you need to put on the outside of a Tesla before it's no longer energy efficient? Huh? Was your dad on fucking LSD? Sam, he just I t- think we need to talk about you and your father's medication. <laughs> he just... <laughs> It just How turned to me, like, you know, that podcast. You, you know that <laughs> podcast you do, son? Ask the mates there, how many kazoos would you need to put on the outside of a Tesla before it's no longer energy efficient? <laughs> How the fuck are we supposed to know? Well, here's the thing I'm thinking of, what does that mean? You can't power kazoos by electricity! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to tell him this. I was going home saying like, there, apart from a tiny amount of wind resistance, there would be no energy being expelled. But it's like now the wind resistance causes the vibration of the kazoo, which is energy that the engine's doing. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So first of all, I've got a lot to dissect here. First of all, your father knows about the podcast, which worries me in quite a few different ways. Uh, He's apparently Tesla, listened to five episodes. Oh, that oh. horror that uh, that part B of that is that Hi, is horrifying. He's definitely gonna listen to this one after, he, after I tell him I covered his <laughs> stupid Tesla question. Okay, how do we make this as as not as horrible or not horrible as possible? I'm not sure. <laughs> just, just try and explain to him oh, why well. this question is so stupid. <laughs> it just is. Like, first of all, well, why, 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 would you want... to, why would you want to strap a zoo to the other side of a Tesla? Test how energy efficient it would be. Well, how do I do it a to change. I mean, look, this is a fractional amount by the wind resistance caused by the new amount of weight on a like, strap to the car. Right, so how many would you need to attach before it becomes no longer energy efficient? Summer's <laughs> turned I... to a bee. No, it's a kazoo. Just... Uh... Or how many things do you have on your person at all times? Uh, two. What, at all times? Uh... No. I think my cousin licked that one. 
I'm not even gonna delve into that. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna put the delve into the. I'm not. I okay. tell you, Save, you ain't coming into the room anymore. Uh, okay. Um, so to answer the kazoo question, uh, thousands? Mm. But that's not how energy efficiency works, so irrelevant, I should. I think it'd be... How, okay, alternative uh, question that would get us the same answer. How many kazoos would you have to strap to the front of your Tesla before you got, like, taken away in the white van with square wheels? <laughs> That's my question. I don't actually know what he was trying to say by this question. I think... <laughs> like, context, what's the context behind the asking of this question? I want to really understand the mindset your father was in. We were walking <laughs> home after feeding the tadpoles. <laughs> well, I'm... Oh. <laughs> That's just a normal sentence. <laughs> they like... They sit upon that cucumber like piranhas. Anyway, um... Yeah, so we were okay. just walking home, okay. and he just turned to me and said, Son, you know that podcast that you record? Can you ask your mates there, how many kazoos would you need to strap to the outside of a Tesla? before it's no longer energy efficient. He didn't say it like that, of course. I, I've simplified it so it's actually understandable. What he said was more along the lines of, you know Teslas? If you if you put a bunch of kazoos on them, how would it no longer be environmental? Okay, okay, this is... Feeding the tadpoles a euphemism, a euphemism for buying insane amounts of pollution. No, we just ha we just have a bunch of tadpoles. <laughs> I think. Okay. Why the fuck not? They live yeah. in a bathtub. I think. Okay, I'm fine. I am fine. This podcast isn't ruining me mentally. It, it already has. We're, we're past the point of no repair. I think you mean the point of no return, but yeah, that's No, we, our minds are broken and cannot be repaired. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... It's all I just think loose well, uh, we haven't got the answer to the question of how many kazoos you have to strap to the front of your table before you got taken away by the men in the white van with square wheels. Because that God. has similar similar answers right there. I think we need to get Jimmy Mr. Beast on the phone and get him to strap a bunch of kazoos to a Tesla. Or He's just team up with Elon Tesla. Musk and just do a... He, he owns a Tesla. You know he does. Several, yeah. Exactly. He can afford ZHC to strap a ZHC gave him a custom one. He, he can afford to Strap a couple of kazoos to the front of it. I'm just imagining <laughs> now, just... Imagine Im, imagine just, you know, the doof van. Imagine if it was just a wall of kazoos <laughs> I was instead. To, I was about to make the doof worry and go. <laughs> about, about yeah, in, instead of just speakers, it was just... Just the wind was just blowing through thousands of kazoos. Yeah, to be fair. <laughs> Or you can go back in time and back to the future. They just like have a bunch of kazoos like riding the inside of the car. It wouldn't be on the inside. I imagine there'd be exterior. Exterior and interior. So they can so they can catch the wind and just. No, that's how the fire happened. Because uh. To do magic, this is this podcast is ruining me mentally. Anyway, so I think you sufficiently answered that question. <laughs> and the answer is, please get some schizophrenia meds. I will be sure to tell him this. 
<laughs> Don't fret at me. I am, I am but a whisper uh, on the wind. Uh, yeah, we tell we have to tell him tell him uh, tell him uh, in bed. Look, the music's annoying me and it's just uh, uh, I'm checking my college emails. In the middle the music of is annoying you, yes, it may annoy the listeners. Because I was notified that Debbie has sent me an email. Yeah, it's just a bunch of ranting like always. Oh, anyway, it, it fucking um, is. No, no, no. I'm gonna so send has, you a screenshot. Uh, has anybody watched those, 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 those strangey things recently? I have. The Strangler I, Boys. Don't yes. spoil the fourth season for me because I am on the last episode of season three because I'm rewatching it all. Uh -huh. So wait, you oh, haven't seen season four yet? No, and if you spoil it, I'll burn your house down. I also oh, it's Charlie incredible! All of them. I've heard that it's I've heard that it's really good. I've not seen it yet. Yeah, that part where Eleven visits Paris is incredible. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Um, and also, when, oh, wait, when does and when he, uh, when does... shows up, it's just <laughs> so unexpected. I know. He's. She oh. says, "Who the fuck are you?" Don't care, mobbing time. <laughs> and then he opens the portal to the upside down, and the and then Illuminati he kicks the walks out. shit out of the everything. <laughs> and then he gets from the Even new happened. king of the upside down. <laughs> yeah, Morb Morbius is the mind flayer now. He just morbed so hard the mind flayer died. <laughs> morbed so hard the mind flayer died. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it the season like oh, it's finished and it's already like nine hours long? Yeah, it's very long and then they're doing a second half sometime in July. To build up hype. I was gonna say when does the second half come out? First July of July. Ah. Because... Ah, first, first of July, nice. Yeah, that is surprising. Because July is apparently important to like Americans and stuff. Is, the 4th yeah. of July is. We don't celebrate that. No, because why would we celebrate an American independence? Hashtag Fuck give America. Britain America back. <laughs> no, not supporting. Well, uh, we don't want it. We, no. That's the reason we let you win that war. We do not want you. Here's, I hate yeah, when Americans go, man, well, uh. I hate when Americans go, oh well, we, you guys lost the war, and we're like, we don't give a fuck, you see. Like, just like fucking. Uh, any <laughs> human stuff. Also, also got a show. show. Umbrella Umbrella Academy season three is coming out soon, isn't it? Two days. Wait, on Wednesday. Yes. My yeah, mum yeah. cancelled Netflix. I haven't I haven't seen um haven't seen the second season of Umbrella Academy yet because I same. love procrastinating on uh, things yeah, that I same. like. There's a guy a guy with a fishbowl head who I think's voiced yeah. by one of the same voice actors from TF2. <laughs> is he? Probably. I think so, yeah. I am looking this up. Brother Academy. Cast. Uh, let's see. Put some respect on the name Victor Hargreaves. Is that his name? Vic? Did this? Yeah, I think that's his name. In the show now. I'm not sure. I'm lost. Uh, I, I, I ran over my headphone wire. In the meantime, um, I have either of you figured out what? Who, who plays Adria Carmichael or whatever his name is? Have either of you figured out what the other's mini challenge is? No. No. Are either of you giving good enough hints? Probably not. Probably not. Adria Umbrella Academy. Yes, who the fuck is uh. he played by? Just go to like Umbrella Academy cast. Robin Atkin Downs. 
Never heard of them. What 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 have you done, fella? Movies and TV shows. He was in a uh, uh, Iron Man and Captain America: Heroes United. Iron Man and Hulk: Heroes what? United. Mortal Kombat okay, 2021. Oh Kombat god. Legends 2020. He was in regular show. He was in Meet the Spy from TF2. He was in the Postman Pat movie. <laughs> Uh, yes, that was David Tennant. Like... <laughs> Lego Marvel Superheroes Maximum Overload. Let's see. Forky asks a question. Harold. Okay. Uh, are we all Hello? alive? Yes. Yeah. What have I missed? We are. Mmm... Nothing, really. No. But yeah, just fucking, uh... You know... <laughs> I, I think I missed something. Let's do it one of the TF. Uh, I've, I've looked up the cast, I'll try and see if I... can find a wrong... Oh. The iPad is struggling. Uh, yes! Robert Atkin Downs is in, um. He is in, uh, thing. Oh, he's the voice of Pyro. Oh, I did not know Pyro ever spoke. As I... well as the spy. I have been. Ah, that makes more sense. Just yeah, me. I haven't. And I, it didn't work on my PC, so I was just like, no, I've fuck played it. a couple games, I had no fucking clue what, go what was going on at any given moment. I got like three kills, maybe. Uh, it was just a very confusing time. I then left to go play Minecraft yeah. instead. <laughs> Which is a superior game in every way. I just heard the Discord disconnect. I just heard the Discord disconnect noise. What the hell's going on? I don't know. I don't hear it because I have streamer mode enabled uh, whenever I open OBS. I hate Discord. Cool. I see. Have you fellas checked your college email because mine is causing me pain? Discord. Yeah, but is that's a not bad thing. <laughs> hey, Visa. Michael here. Hey, Visa. Michael here. What if you were in danger? How fast can you run? Yeah, Callum's having a fucking song. Callum, have you taken the hallucinogenics of my father? No. Yeah. I'm, I'm slowly <laughs> really going mad because I have checked my college emails. It's making me okay, that's physically very cool. Rain hurt. This Maybe episode seems even more. This I'm episode, just, for some reason, seems even more uh, all over the place than the last one. Uh, I'm just, I'm just vibing to the, the Steam Gardens from Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> Can we actually get some metal on track? So this isn't the most boring episode since seven. For a Fortnite added Among Us. I hate that. Why? Didn't they already like rip off Among Us they like did. a few years ago? Yeah, they did. Now they did Fortnite imposters. Yeah, they added like the the um, the imposter as like a backpack and um, the Henry Stickman the dance. Well, Henry Stickman isn't really Among Us. It's part of the Among Us it's... set. Yeah. Yeah, but it shouldn't be too not Among Us. Six and three bucks. It's it. pretty good. I that also the Henry Stickman dance. What? <laughs> so this is now an this is a reality. Yes, Among Us is now 
Among Us is now in Fortnite. Look at the gif I sent, it's FIFA. Yes, that is, that is oh, now oh, real. Oh, I'm Fortnite real. It, yeah, the, the the greatest crossover ever. <laughs> we're we're this low, are we? Uh -huh. Yep, we yep. You did bring out Among Us Fortnite. Yeah, because mm. there was really no other alternatives. I mean, there is. What alternatives are there? Reference old stuff. That's tomorrow's job. Well, you know, just keep ripping off things that you can't afford yet. What? <laughs> like how they had all the fake superheroes before they decided oh, they're going to pay oh, you to put yeah. your heroes in our game. Yes. Yeah, Fortnite is now more crossover than fucking... More crossover than Smash Brothers, honestly. Yeah. I'm not I say I absolutely saying something. dislike how they've done the new Battle Pass. Because they've added Darth Vader as the final yes. fucking skin, um, but they should yes. have had it. So Anakin was the tier one, and then throughout it, you upgraded it for all these different fucking films, and then you get Darth Vader. That honestly would have been cool. That would have been so much fucking better than just Darth Vader. I, I'll be honest, I have not put Fortnite in fucking twenty twenty. I do, I do not blame you. Mm. That was it, the last like, time last the game was the, good. The last thing I remember is when they got rid of the first island. Uh, literally it. <laughs> well, when, uh, they uh, when they uh, nuked uh, the good map. Yeah. Yeah. And then I went, well, uh, not touching this again, and I deleted it. And I have honestly been better. I've been better off since. Uh, let's see, what else in gaming news is a uh, thing? Uh, Rainbow Six Siege has shot itself. When what, hasn't what, it? Fresh? When hasn't <laughs> it? Yeah. It's fucking... What, fresh? It hasn't it's been Steve. good it's... since fucking when they introduced Kali and Wamai. The only time I've ever enjoyed anything Rainbow Six Siege related is when the Russian badge would make something about it. I enjoy the game as long as I'm playing it with uh, like a full team of my friends. Oh, if yeah, no. not, yeah. the Solo fucking dog bollocks were cancer. It is so cancerous. Yeah, having spending time with mates is definitely much better than doing stuff alone. Siege hasn't been yeah, good since that... a while, let's be honest. I'd say my, like... The last the game as long as I'm playing with friends. Fucking, uh, the one with Ace and watch my calls the defender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But fucking, nah, the but game works. The game is, the game is pretty fun if you're playing it with a certain group, like with a group of friends that doesn't take it seriously. And if you're playing ranked, you just fucking you, you don't you just don't play ranked. No, uh, because well, you see, to make the game more fun, what me and Mohammed did was we put all of our sensitivities on fucking max, <laughs> and then oh god, we just that's probably the thing. It was great. Oh yeah, Sonic's getting a new yeah, game. Apparently, what? Apparently, it's going to actually be decent, which is nice. What Open are you talking world. About? There's an open world Sonic game coming out. Ah, I see. That it looks sounds fairly okay. bland, but. But what? What other than the movie has Sonic done in the past 20 years that hasn't been bland? Sonic Mania, I got that for my birthday. I've played a lot of it. That What officially that made count by because Sega it hasn't been bland. <laughs> because that was a fan game. The, the, um, the Colours remake was apparently dog shit. Terrible. Yeah, apparently it was broken as fuck. Just get, dig out your fucking Wii and pop in Sonic Colours if you really want to play that game so badly. Which, it wasn't even a good game. How does Sonic work on the even. freaking Wii? I don't know. It just no, does. because here's... No, here's the thing, right? Here's a thing. I don't know if this is... If anyone else remembers these, but there was the two Sonic games I remember owning for the Wii, 
fucked up with just dog shit. They were so bad. And it was like Sonic and Sega Sonic and the Black. Racing. No, it was like Sonic and the Black Knight. Oh yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or, or something like that. Or, and Sonic and fucking d- 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 Sonic. It was so, it was edgy bullshit. It was it was edgy bullshit. And I, and they were shit. They were not good games because they were Wii exclusive. Game. And like, who makes games exclusive for the Wii? Yeah. EA. Or oh, Nintendo. Well, yeah, yeah N- Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo make games exclusive to the Wii. I mean, other than Nintendo, because obviously they made, they have exclusives made for the Wii. I mean, other third-party companies. Bring Silver Surfer for the NES onto the Nintendo Wii. No, no, no. Here's the thing, right? Because they have the NES, like if you. The NES Online thing, if you play Switch Online, yeah. you get a load of NES skins. They need to put Silver Surf the NES on that. If because, they do, I like, buy it's, it. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's, it's, no, but unironically, even if it's a painfully shit game, the music oh, yeah. goes so fucking hard in that game. Have you seen, like, it visualised and it, it's just incredible? Yeah. Oh, so good. And there's <laughs> also, um... Yeah, There's Sonic also and the Black Knight and Sonic and the Secret Rings are the uh, two Wii exclusive. Hang on, games. I'll be right back. I see. Okay. Yeah, in one of these Sonic gets a caliber? Right. Wait. What? Sonic Unleashed was terrible, and I will not hear any fucking difference. <laughs> What's wrong with Furry Sonic? Everything is wrong with Furry Sonic. Nah, nah they need a remake, Shadow the Hedgehog. But give him a slightly bigger gun. <laughs> give him the biggest gun. Pretty, pretty. Honestly, put some respect on my man Edgy the Hedgy. Right. He is... He, he deserves better. Who, who will voice Edgy the Hedgy in the, uh... In Sonic 3? Like, the move to... Because... They've got to get someone... Edgy. To play Edgy the Hedgy. Keanu Reeves. Now that would be too good for Keanu, but also he he is great. He, he, but but if like they offered him enough, um, he probably would. Yeah, you know who they're gonna get. You just know who they're gonna get. They're gonna get fucking Jared Leto. They're gonna make it a big meme because. <laughs> Because Jared Leto is the fucking apparently the meme lord now. He's the meme man. He's 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 funny mob in time, and he owns a cult. He has a cult. Let's not overlook for the fact that this man is a psychopath. Okay, like say what you want about a ha funny mob in time, you know, uh, a Morbius meal. Say what you want about that, but no, never forget that this man has a cult. Okay, like, <laughs> man has a cult of fucking maniacs that he has just, like, fucking brainwashed. I was trying to find my old Nintendo Wii DVD that had all of the stuff in it, but I couldn't, all I could find was all my old Xbox 360 games. Fair enough, was... we were having a very interesting discussion about how, um... Uh, 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 about how fucking uh, uh, about how Morbius has a cult. I see. Uh, but, uh, yeah, also, he sent used condoms and dead rats to uh, Margot Robbie on the set of Suicide Squad. So you know, as you do, you know, that's completely normal man behaviour, innit? We did not pay that for that. We did not pay that for that. Good quote there, Samuel. No, I've got, I've got down here. Um, just all my Xbox games. Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing with Banjo, Banjo and Kazooie for the Xbox yeah. 360. We apparently paid 20 quid for this thing. 
<laughs> I mean, it's a pretty decent game. No Mario Kart, but I mean, it's better mm. than fucking Ben 10 Galactic Racing. Don't you dare diss Ben 10 Galactic Racing. <laughs> uh, We've also got <laughs> Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. Nah, oh, the I Sega Mega Drive PSP. Ultimate Collection's a fucking great. That was on my They always have like the best <laughs> game. If it doesn't have Mean Bean Machine on it, like even just like as a hidden little thing, I'll Over be. Over 40 sad. classics featuring Sonic the Hedgehog, well, Streets of ball. Rage, Echo the Dolphin, Be does it have Shining, Mean Bean Machine? Golden Axe and many more. I don't know. Have mean maybe, bean there's machine. A, maybe there's a page of contents on the back. I'll need to get my anyway, old Xbox you, out. I don't know. Uh, who, includes, who do you reckon will. Who do you reckon will voice Hedgehog, the Hedgehog? 1, 2, and 3, Streets of Rage. Uh, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Spinball. I'm not seeing a Mean Bean Machine. Spinball, Spinball is great, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we've got in here. Uh, Looney Tunes Acme Arsenal. It's not Bugs Bunny lost in time, so it's not worth it. Um, that. Marvel vs. Cap... I do not remember buying this. Um, you own Marvel vs. Capcom, which one, too? Three, Fate of Two Marvel, Worlds. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is a banging game. It is a uh, banging game. Once again, I do not remember buying Rayman Legends. Rayman Legends, another banging game. Dirt. That's not a banging game. That came bundled with like a Batman, I'm pretty sure. Another one I don't remember. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 09. Why do you own Tiger Woods PGA Tour or 09? Like I say, I have no boring idea. Boring golf. Boring golf. Dirt, Dirt 3. Um, wow, where are you? Uh, Star Wars 2 Original Trilogy, Lego. Lego Star Wars, yeah, Lego Star Wars 2 the Original Trilogy. Not as good as the... And the Indiana uh, Jones started. one. The which one? Which Indiana Jones game? Uh, the Original Adventure. Ah, okay, so the good one. Blur and <laughs> F1 Race Stars. Uh, as well as F1 2010 and PGR4. I, think... I, I, I don't remember getting half of these. I'm going to... Uh, I, I need to check Amazon for something real quick. Okay. I genuinely uh... do not remember getting half of these. And then Skylander Swap Force and Giants. I could buy Dax. I could buy Dax on the yeah. Game Boy Color. I don't own a Game Boy Color, nor do I wish to own Dax. <laughs> and for some reason, I still have my Wally uh, for the DS cartridge case. On which does not. Uh, it contains Revolution for DS, not the Wally game. Do you guys remember the GeForce game? What? Do you guys remember the GeForce game? We had a conversation uh, about this whilst walking home, I remember. I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't remember this, but... Was that the game with the hand, was that the... What, GeForce or DeForce? GeForce. The movie with the guinea pigs. Yeah, yeah. the guinea pig spy movie, yeah. Um, yes. But also, no. I... I have not seen it. I, I mean, I probably did see it, but like, what? I think I remember seeing it, like, a few times, probably. I think I watched it, I think I watched it once, but I don't remember anything about it. It's got a 22% on Rotten Tomatoes, which explains a lot, to be honest. It's Nicolas Cage in it. Yeah, Nicolas Cage, Sam Rockwell, John Favreau. <laughs> Banging cast to be fair. Bill Nye is in it. Steve Buscemi. Fucking what? <laughs> a freaking guinea pig movie. A guinea pig spy movie. Don't forget. Okay. Made by Disney. I, was I need to play. I need to break out my Xbox and play some of these. Honestly, I know it's still got Red no, Ring, but I've, I'm sure I've re recently purchased. I've re uh, I've repurchased a bunch of Xbox 360 games recently. Uh, I, the only ones I have right now are like Fallout 3, like a Batman, fucking. I don't remember the other three that I recently bought. 
but like, <laughs> I was gonna buy Fuse, I think, which is a really crap uh, first person shooter game that nobody remembers. I'm gonna try and play some of these later. And for some reason, Stephen Curry's, wait, what? No, Tim Curry's It, starring Stephen, no, wait. Who's Stephen Curry? Tim Curry in Stephen King's It. There we go, I got there in the end. There we go. Yeah, Tim Curry, what a, what a, what a big dick, G, to be honest. And then a bunch of discs of the Stranger Things soundtrack. Fair enough, it has a banging soundtrack. The last CDs I ever bought. To be fair, is that a song for the, everyone's going wild about from Stranger Things right now? I don't know what it's called, but it's fucking... Uh, it, it's banging. What? You mean the one that Eleven listens to to fight Morbius? <laughs> I, I don't know the context behind the... In the time the scene, but I've heard it on TikTok and it does kind of go hard. When the Demogorgon started T posing in the air and just um, entered it, creative wait, mode, okay, it was just. So, so it, it, I bet there's a Stranger Things crossover with Fortnite, isn't there? By the there time. is. Uh, of course, there is. Uh, what? David Harbour and the Damagorgon. Okay, respect David I mean, Put some respect on that man. He, he, he... Um, he's having a bad time of it recently. <laughs> I won't lie to you. Also, I think... character in our... Well, some of the rare... Really? Yes. I don't yeah, think he's got a face to to Talk to me. Uh -huh. see. Anyway, so, um. Put some respect on David Harbour, to be honest. Like, yeah, they, they, David they Harbour. Ruined his, he's, like... having a, he's, he's having a bad time of it recently. They made his character a complete asshole in season three of Stranger Things. No, no, for no reason. Really no, he was an asshole. He, he was. I've literally just, like, been watching it, like, literally before, like, Hopping on this, uh, hopping on this recording. I was watching. They made his character just a dumbass again, like a dumbass asshole again. And I'm like, my the, guy. The, I don't know what he's like in season four. I haven't seen. Oh it. no, uh, he's he's not in season four. He's just dead. Uh, he's, it's just trailer bait. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure. But oh, um, see, it's like it's like what Yondu rotting. did on the set of Infinity War. <laughs> it's his rotting, decaying corpse in the Upside Down. I see, I see. Uh, yeah, but yeah. yeah, the first shot of then they three, fucking... he's just getting devoured by a Damagorgon. Just on then, his uh, but... like, what? Like fucking... that flashlight. I... Anyway... No. <laughs> can we too, mention how... Too can we far. Mention how... Too can we mention far. How... Can we mention how shit that Hellboy film was? Haven't seen Which it. one? The, the one with bad. David Harbour. I'm, I'm sorry, did you just call the 2004 Hellboy film back? Yes. You've <laughs> got no fucking taste in films, mate. I'm sorry to tell you. Come at me. <laughs> okay, you fucking swear up. Hellboy okay. was apparently barely out of its 20s, but he was played by a 55-year-old. But, like, I mean, like, the, 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 poor David Harbour, he, he deserves... Poor, poor David Harbour. Did he ever show up to that guy's wedding? I'm not sure. I'll be 100% honest. Like, my, my guy. My guy's 47. What, David Harbour? Yeah. Cool. Like, I did not think he was that. I want to say young, but also want to say old, and I'm not quite that. He's dad age. He's he, ideal. He's he, ideal he dad like, age. Yeah, he does. He, he does have the prime like physicality dad of dad. Yeah. He's got. He's got the dad bod. Uh -huh. Yeah, to be honest. Should have been Godzilla. What? <laughs> <laughs> 
see? I know it up right, I guess. <laughs> Andy Serkis can be God can be King Kong. David Harbour can be Godzilla. I see. Okay. I forgot that David Harbour was in Black Widow. I forgot a lot of things about <laughs> Black Widow. Actually. Uh, yeah, I was kind of excited to see him in Black Widow. And then just didn't get around to watching Black Widow. And then didn't hear good stuff about Black Widow. He's the only like he's probably hey, the best part about Black Widow, let's be honest. The film isn't bad, it's just a bit forgettable. Yeah. It's not like Did it get Taskmaster right? That's the important Did it no. fuck? <laughs> they, did it fuck? They did the... Take Taskmaster and do the complete opposite, and then you've got Taskmaster and Black Widow. Oh. So uh, the, you... the part I was most excited for was seeing Taskmaster. But then they ruined Taskmaster. So yeah, like, I was like, oh, I, I remember seeing the Lego set. Just saw, oh, Taskmaster's in this movie. Cool. And I was like, oh no, that means we can't have Taskmaster in the MCU anymore because Taskmaster's already here and it's shit. Imagine if they ever made like a movie about Doctor Doom and then just kill him. <laughs> yeah, the, like, well, yeah, it's not the worst, but it's you not know the what, You know what we need? We need, like, a Joker movie, like, a movie that is not related to the MCU uh, main timeline with about Doctor Doom. Mm. No, 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 cool. here's, here's my thinking, right, because Joker was made because everyone fucking hated Jared Leto Joker, Fact. which rightfully so, it was <laughs> shit. Yeah. So they made Joker, and everyone was like, this is the best film ever, like, this is the best it film ever, I don't agree. Joker. It's... It's, oh, it's, no, Joker's it's, awesome. It's not the best. It's, oh, I agree. It's great, but I don't agree with the people being like, oh, it's the best film that's ever been made, because that is not There true. are flaws. Agreed. Very flawed. The people who... No, the people who are like, oh, yeah, the Joker in that movie is so cool. He's so right. We live in a society <laughs> dead. Fucking incels. Just line yeah, up that and back up fucking bed and just put two in the head on. Did you just say society? But yeah, like a they toaster to... society. Fucking hell. We, we were opening ourselves up to the fucking relief in a society meme that we haven't made one until after 19. I'm yep. surprised. This <laughs> is the whole reason we picked this name. And we've not made reference to it. Instead, Joe anyway. Pesci and Tommy Wiseau have been the main joke. But yeah, fucking... Uh, we need... So what character would you reckon has been wasted the most by the MCU? Uh, but, like nobody likes. What character or actor? Character. Um. Wanda. Really? I wouldn't say Wanda's been wasted. Wanda's been used amazing. Not so much overall, but in Multiverse of Madness, definitely. Oh yeah, she uh, wasn't in most of it. She, she was in all the advertising, but wasn't in a lot of the film. Yeah. Which, you know, but I also thought good, they were going to actually finally do Wiccan and Speed, but fucking no. Yeah, we're getting Wiccan and Speed soon, I hope. Because I oh, really give hope. us Young Avengers, Marvel, you pussies. <laughs> um, we know you're okay. We know Disney are vaguely okay with gay people now. Vaguely. <laughs> but, yeah. So please, give us the, give us the Young Avengers. You've got all of the, literally all of the characters other than Hulkling set up. Yeah. Which <laughs> you can just fucking but, replace him with She-Hulk or Miss Marvel. Not She-Hulk, because She-Hulk's like 40. But oh, replace, re replace, re re replace him with Miss Marvel. Or, you know, you've already set up the family. You've already set up fucking Helen Chow in Age of Ultron. To say, oh yeah, she has a son, and she's Hulkling, because... Well, he's not because Amadeus Cho isn't actually Hulk thing. He's uh, they call him an, like amazing adventures Hulk or something. I don't know, but he 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 he's cool. He's cool, so I don't care. I mean, it's established that the MCU is six one six, so you know. Yeah, yeah. So here's here's the thing, right? So like, we've got all the characters, and you know, you need a big team up movie to end the uh, to end Phase Four. Because it always ends on a big team-up movie. I don't care if you say that Far From Home is the end of Space 4. It fucking isn't. No, it isn't. 
it, end game's the end of phase four. Not phase four, phase three, even. And Endgame was kind of the end of Marvel. Uh, the rest is just no. kind of like DLC. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because the the, the films after uh, Endgame have been pretty other than Eternal. Which I and Black seen. Widow was meh. Black Widow was meh, but it was still a decent film. I still but refuse like, to watch Eternals. It's but yeah, been kind of 50... And then we've got all the TV shows as well. Yeah, WandaVision. Banger of a show, Sunky, banger of a movie. Fucking Falcon and the Winter Soldier was pretty meh. Uh, we got Loki, which liked... was okay. Loki, Loki no, Loki was, Loki was wasted. Loki was wasted. Loki was wasted. Yeah, because they forced the fucking Loki Sylvie fucking romance yeah. for reason. You know, that same fucking person. Yeah, I I, I asked the question. I think so. They They're doing the season cliff. two somewhat time, but yeah. They're not um, on a cliffhanger. Disney has money. <laughs> but yeah, fucking. What came after Loki directly after Loki? Eternals, I think. Uh, uh, no, that was before. Um, it was, Eternals was up a shit, but we'll yeah. ignore Eternals mm -hmm. for now, like I Just want to. Forget then it's we got that showed up at the end of Doctor Strange. Hawkeye. I'm very confused. Uh, Hawkeye, I think, no, we don't know yet. I don't think Hawkeye was an amazing I think that's show. I like Hawkeye. I, I don't give a fuck Hawkeye. is the best MCU show so far. I just couldn't be bothered with it after the three previously mediocre shows. Wow. Mediocre. I'm gonna make them look great. What if just like spectacular. Just oh, what if? Yeah, I'm that's the best the thing if. they've made. What if? What if was great. One division was pretty damn yeah. great. Devote everything to what if. No, and don't devote well, everything. Don't devote everything to what if, but. Do make a second season of what if moon knight i'm sorry do not Haven't sleep on moon knight moon knight was it. moon knight was pretty good yeah um my I father didn't episode, understand yeah. it but he doesn't understand how teslas and kazoos work so screw <laughs> yeah <laughs> no no way home was fucking spectacular agreed uh, they wasted Lester, though uh yeah they really didn't know what they were doing with him but they had to add him there because he was one of the villains from yeah. fucking previous movies. Multiverse of Madness was really a movie. <laughs> it's got quite a few flaws, yeah. but yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it uh, was definitely a lot more entertaining than, say, The Eternals. But... Yeah, it, it's definitely not one of the worst movies. It's not one of the best, but... No, it's, 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 a good one. it's a good one to put on. Um, yeah, especially the considering they did America Chavez right. They did it right. They did. <laughs> they made a character that that that's that good. I know. <laughs> they didn't ruin her. Yeah. <laughs> and they had Bruce Campbell in a cameo, which I thought was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> My dad didn't. He was annoyed that I made him wait eight minutes in the cinema for that same, cameo. But same. I wait. I waited for it, and I was a bit annoyed. Annoyed that that's the only end credit scene. Yeah, but uh, who cares? It was, it was still pretty funny. Bruce Campbell wish... is a comedian. He's a fucking oh. great comedic actor, and nobody really has to think. Did you know he was going to be Mysterio in the cancelled Spider-Man four movie? Yeah, he was, and that would have been fucking amazing. I know that would have just been. Mm. But, although, although Jake Gyllenhaal did a fucking amazing job as. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, as Mysterio. Uh, yeah, the fish he had, like, is... Yeah, I can't believe they they're taking like the most out there, insane fucking mental Spider-Man villains and making them actually work. Like Vulture, just a I man in a fucking skin-tight costume. I look forward to the wall um, made him, made up. They made him fucking intimidating. Like, they make the Vulture genuinely quite intimidating. Because he was played by Batman. Yeah, they, they took Mysterio, a fucking guy with a fishbowl on his head that does magic, made him fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> now, who's next? Fucking the big wall. wheel? The big wheel. wheel. It better the be wall. fucking big wheel. I want the wall. <laughs> no, fucking yeah, blob. Yeah. Blob is an X-Men villain more than anything. Who cares? But... <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and the uh what's that? Uh the elementals weren't related to Spider Man either, they still showed up. Yeah, but that's because they needed some way for Mysterio to prove himself as a Also X-Men uh, is owned by Disney now, as shown I by know, the guy from the office I'm... being Mr. Fantastic. I hope I that, that I... 
I hope that they, that because everyone was like, oh yeah, he better, John Krasinski better be Mr. Fantastic, he'd be perfect as Mr. Fantastic. I hope that they just had him as this universe as Mr. Fantastic. Yes, and they just great. had someone completely different as the uh, <laughs> 616 as Mr. Fantastic. Yes. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Well, all right, before, the f- before the podcast <laughs> ends, I want to just, let's just assemble the ideal Fantastic Four. So, we've already established... Anyone but John Krasinski. We, we've already oh. established uh, Reed Richards. I'm sorry, he, he's already going to play Reed Richards. Uh, and Mads Mikkelsen is getting brought back to play Doctor Doom. I don't know, care what you he say. Would be perfect. He, he would yeah. be perfect as Doctor Doom. And yeah, nobody so remembers got- that he was in Doctor Strange, so... Yeah, so we have those two already. Um, yeah, plus the character wears a big mask, so no one would realise. Um, so, uh, who's going to play... Uh huh. Uh-huh. Anyway, have you, have you seen the first episode of Miss Marvel yet? No, I haven't no. seen Moon Knight yet. It looks Monty awful. Bot- it was the first episode of Miss Marvel. It wasn't excellent. Because, you know, it's hard to do something with the first step. It's hard for the first episode of a show when you're introducing completely new characters to be excellent. But yeah. Moon Knight like, did it. Well, yes, but that's because Moon Knight is, well, we're off the rise of a charismatic man. Have you seen that man? He has charisma. Even if he We seem to have forgotten somehow. the Fantastic Four now, but... Yeah, well, I don't care. Who cares? <laughs> uh, have you seen Oscar? Like, 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 even if he's, if No he's one's not, listening this long into the podcast. And we're ignoring we're ignoring somehow Palpatine returned. That never happened. Palpatine yep. did not somehow return. No, Oscar didn't. Isaac, I'm sorry. Honestly, I might no. just not play the fucking sequels on Lego Star Wars. <laughs> The, yeah, I don't have the fucking um, Star Wars saga, oh, but... it's, it's really I, fucking good. I love it so far. I've only I haven't, one. <laughs> I have I, I wish I had money to buy it, but I, uh, I don't. <laughs> so next time I get some form of money, I'll probably buy it. Yeah. Maybe when it's the birthday, we can all chip in and buy the DLC. Yeah, to be H. Anyway, uh, fucking... Um, yeah, Moonlight, just like, they did episode one good because fucking Oscar Isaac is charismatic as fuck. And when you've just got some unknown teenage, like, actors, which you have to have for Miss Marvel, yeah. you, you you can't really do a, a whole lot in the first episode. How long have we been recording for? Uh, hour, two minutes, three minutes, way! Fair enough. Uh, fucking, yeah. Wait, what's coming after Miss Marvel? Because that kind of just came out of nowhere. Uh, no, tra- she... like they met. They had like one trailer, and then they randomly said, "Oh yes, by the way, tomorrow Miss Marvel's coming out." And that I was just like, shows they don't have a lot of confidence in it. <laughs> oh yeah, because people don't seem to like Miss Marvel as a character for some mm. reason. I'd say it's, it's most the likely Avengers game. To... The Avengers. Uh, the Avengers game. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Uh, or, alternatively, if you want another fucking character for the Young Avengers, Miles Morales. Oh, hell yeah. He's not Bring technically him. in the... He's not technically in the Young Avengers or the New Avengers, but... He exists in the he's MCU, but he's not Spider-Man yeah. yet. But aren't they doing a Spider-Man well, series on Disney Plus? I, I think they're doing a Spider-Man series, yeah, but I think it's related to Peter, I think. Yeah, it's Peter's probably Peter, but... I, it, yeah. I love I love Tom Holland, but I, yeah, don't get me wrong. I love Tom Holland, Peter, uh, and Tom Holland Spider Man. To be honest, but like Peter Parker is a boring character because you've seen him done so many times. Mm. Miles, relatively new, not boring. New perspective. If you get a good actor, is black. Yeah, that too. <laughs> get no, 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 no. Get the guy who was Miles in the PS4 game. Get that I guy. I the PS4 game, but I kind of want to. I'm getting Miles Morales in like a week or something. Like, but I've played the original fucking yeah, yeah, uh, Spider-Man PS4 game. He was great. He was in it. <laughs> get yeah, that guy. Miles get is that actually guy. kind of better than regular Spider-Man. 
he is. He's so much better. Not only is he stronger, technically, he had more bullshit. He's also electric. He's yeah. invisible. Yeah. Like, he, also, I'm pretty sure it said, like, oh, yeah, he could, like, his electricity can, he can generate enough electricity to knock out, like, the fucking rhino. Like, Shall in a start, single punch. Should we start wrapping this episode up? I need to get to the pet shop. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you going to the pet shop? No, pet show. Uh, That's a weird a statement. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make it any better. But yeah, uh, yeah, okay, so, um, uh, this has been the Social Society Podcast, I've been Joe Pesci. Gee, I'm not Joe Pesci anymore, you can't make mm. me. Joe Pesci, go to pet show. Jojo nice. Pesci, Jojo. Anyway. <laughs>